No razor has ever been used on my head because I have been a Nazarite dedicated to God from my mother's womb. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me and I would become as weak as any other man. Luma AI has made creating of animation videos so simple and easy for everyone. So I created this entire video using AI tools which are great for storytelling. There are also many YouTube channels using AI tools to create Bible stories like what you just watched and attract many viewers to their channel. And that makes them get hundreds of thousands of views on their videos every month. This channel is a typical example. You can see the views on their videos yourself. The approach we will use in this tutorial can work for any kind of stories so in this video i'll show you how to tell engaging stories with free ai tools to create short stories using ai animations all for free i also have additional bonus for you somewhere in this video so make sure you watch everything to the end do not skip this video so that you can have access to my bonus in this video let's get started to get started we need to create a script we are going to use youtube to do that so go to your youtube homepage and type bible animated stories scroll to the videos and choose any other videos that attracts you or any channel that attracts you i'm interested in this particular video right click on the video to play and pause it next is to extract the video transcript using the youtube summary with ChatGPT and cloud google chrome extension so before you can use this method you need to install this particular extension on your browser before you can use it so you go to your search bar and type and type youtube summary with ChatGPT. you choose the first option and follow the steps from here just tap on it like this follow the steps and install it on your browser so at the right side of the video click on this particular icon the middle icon that is a summarized video using ChatGPT. that's the icon you tap on it to open on another page for you so we have our transcript ready or our summary ready the purpose of getting this transcript is not to copy it but to create a story that is similar to what we just played on youtube so i went to meet the next prompt by asking ChatGPT to create a story of something using the transcript so ChatGPT wrote the story for me using the transcript. Then I went in with the next prompt. Break down the story into different character lines for easy narration. ChatGPT divided the story into different character lines that will make it easier for me to narrate. Next is to go in with another prompt. I asked ChatGPT give me a list of all the characters in the story. Then I went in with the next prompt. Create a description for the appearance and the outfit of each of these characters. So ChatGPT described all the characters that has been listed above for me so we have something the appearance outfit and then we also have the father the mother and the rest of the characters both the appearance and the outfit that will make it easy for us to be able to use this particular description to create our ai images so i went in with the next prompt give me a short prompt that i can use to generate a consistent ai image of the something let the character be a 3d disney pixar animation style so chat gpt used the description that it gave me earlier on to create the prompt for me so i went with the next prompt by asking ChatGPT to give me six major actions of samson in the story so we can ask for all the actions of samson but because of this video i didn't want it to be so lengthy so i decided to just limit myself to six actions of samson in the story the purpose is to know the kind of actions i want to create for something for each of the scenes so we have tearing lion apart posing a riddle and so many other actions that chat ChatGPT listed for us that we can use to create our consistent images. So from here, if you are using the paid version, that will be easy for you to start creating your consistent images. But if you are using the free version, then that is when you need to copy this prompt and be changing the actions consistently. Even though we are using the GPT-4, or we give you a limited access to the GPT. So with this particular prompt that ChatGPT gave us, I click on the Explorer GPTs in the search bar. Type consistent character GPT. Tap on it. Click on click here to start so because i'm using the free version i cannot generate images here if i'm using the premium version you can generate images directly here so i went in with the first prompt by instructing chat gpt that before we get started some additional instructions whenever you want to generate an image instead of generating it give me the prompt which i can paste in dali directly so with this chat gpt will not create the images for us we will be using another ai tool to generate our images 
all we need here is a prompt so it's responded by saying great let's get started should a character be a male or a female and i said male name is samson age is 25 so i needed to also add a detailed description of samson so we copy the prompt that gpt gave to us from here this particular prompt we copied it and then we paste it here so we have the prompt here you can click on the copy code from here and paste it in dali to create our images so we're going to copy this particular prompt to create in copilot or microsoft designer so we also have the second prompt that contains something tearing apart a lion so i went in with the next action which we have here let me show you posting a radial at his wedding that was the second action of something i wrote the same thing here posting a radial at his wedding so after creating two different consistent image prompt here we couldn't continue again because we exhausted our limit so i have to follow the free version which can also create prompts for me to use so so because i'm using the free version as ChatGPT to use this particular style the consistent character creator used in generating this particular prompt for me so ChatGPT used the same style to create this particular prompt for me create a 3d pizza style character of an angel announcing the bed something so we have this particular prompt and also gave me the second prompt and the third prompt that i can use to generate it with the three different actions included in each of prompt then i also went in with the next prompt just as you created for the angel create three different action prompts on the manual and maintain consistency so remember to always add consistency in your request so we have three different prompts from chat on the same character but the consistency was repeated or certain elements was repeated to make sure there's consistency in the image then i also went in with the next prompt again by asking chat the same applies to the rest of the characters above so this is what you do to generate all the prompt to create your images for your characters so we also we have all our prompts ready next thing is to do is to create our images so we are going to use another ai tool to create our images so head over to your browser and look for the microsoft designer you can use a copilot or the designer to create your images if you want to use the designer just tap on the designer and start creating your images if you want to use the copilot you tap on the copilot to start creating your images if you're still going to get the same result so let's go through some of the images that i created with the prompt come to chat and copy the prompt chat gave you on on each of the characters to create your images for your story so i copied it i pasted it here and i run it by clicking on the create button to create my first image of something so this was the first character and then also went in with the next prompt where something was sharing the lion apart and this is what i got from that this is also an image of something's father praying and another image of something father performing the sacrifice so this is what you do to generate all your images for your story so we can preview our image and then click on the download button and download it onto our drive so you can also open this one and preview it if you like it you can click on the download button to download so this is what you do to download all the characters you have generated using the designer or the copilot next is to expand the square images to widescreen using adobe firefly so in your browser type adobe firefly so we have adobe firefly here scroll down and choose generative field preview click on the button and then click on upload image then choose the images that you want to expand so we can choose this one first click on the open button and click on expand from here choose widescreen or landscape so the widescreen is 16 by 9 we click on that click on the generate button to expand our image after expanding our images we have three suggestions here so we can click on each of the suggestions if you like this one the third one you can click on keep then click on the download button to download click on the back like this and go back to upload image again and upload the second image so this particular image tap on it you can double tap on it and then click on expand from the left then click on white screen and choose the 16 by 9 aspect ratio click on the generate button to generate choose any of the options click on the keep and click on download to download so this is what you do to all the images that you have generated using the Bing designer or the copilot next is to animate our images bring our images to life and we are going to use luma ai to do this so in your browser type luma ai click on the luma dream machine and then on luma dream machine click on the try now button open to the page and start creating your animations so here you click on the icon 
at the top here choose any of the images that you want to animate so we can go with this one click on the open button and describe the scene the purpose of giving instruction here is for the ai to know the kind of actions you want your image to take during animate the animation so this particular image we want it to have a fight with the lion but i can't use the word fight because it will be flagged but if you like to you can go back to the being ai and copy the prompt or the action that you use to create this particular image so we can see this is the first one i created using the luma ai there this is how it's animated this particular image for me so if you like you can click on the download button to download it to your drive then you can click you can go back again if you want to create animation here using the free version then you have to do it overnight give all your instructions and go to bed and come back the next day for your animation because you're not going to get it that very day you have to wait for so many hours then you go through the animations and click on the download button just as you did for the previous one so that's what you do to generate all your animations using luma ai dream machine next on the list is to generate your voiceover for the story for the voiceover you can use 11 labs or clip Champ to do that so in your browser type 11 labs you have to click on the get started for free to sign up so i'm going to sign in because i already have an account so to make our story interesting we are going to use different voices for different characters in the story so we are going to go back to ChatGPT and copy the first one from the narrator so we can copy this one like this so we have to take note of the voice you are going to use for the narrator and the voice you are going to use for the angel and all those characters so in living labs you paste your first script so we you can go through the voice over options here and click on this particular item Icon, listen to the voices to know the kind of voices you use for each of these characters so when you're done selecting the voices that you want to use you can go ahead and add it and it will reflect here then you can click on the generate speech button when you finish generating your speech you can go ahead and click on the download button to download your voiceover delete the previous one and come back to the next character that is the angel go back to 11 labs paste it and select the one that you think will be okay for your angel listen to it first add it and click on the generate speech button to generate a voiceover and click on the download button to download your voiceover that is what you need to do to generate all the voiceover for the characters in the script or in the story but if you don't want to use 11 labs to do that you can use clip time to do that so you can click on the try it button and choose text to speech option the box that will appear here paste your script in and choose one of the voiceover option you can listen to it first and then choose the accent that you want to use but we are going to stick to the united states english accent here and click on the save button to generate your voice over for this particular character so you can scroll to the end here and then go back to ChatGPT, copy the next one so this is the narrator go back to clip Champ, click on the text to speech paste your script here and then choose your voice over so you have to choose a different voice over that you want to use then you can click on the save button to generate a voice over so this is what you do to generate all the voice over for the characters in the story when you're done with it click on the export button and choose the lowest resolution here that's a 480 pixels this has been exported into a video file that is mp4 for us then what we're going to do is to convert this mp4 into mp3 so that we can use it as an audio so in a browser type convert mp4 to mp3 click on the cloud convert choose select file and then choose the file that you want to convert to mp3 click on the open button and then come here and make sure you have selected mp3 click on the convert button convert it waiting for the file to be converted and then click on the download button to download it into your drive so this is how you do or this is what you do to convert your mp4 to mp3 next is to arrange all the clips that we have generated using a video editor we have so many video editors that you can use you can use wondershare to do that you can also use CapCut or use canva or any other video editor of your choice but because you're on budget you want to make sure everything that we use here is free we are not going to use the Filmora or the wondershare because wondershare if you want to export your video without a watermark you need to pay for it but we are going to use CapCut, and for the CapCut, we can use the online video editor if you're using the phone to edit then you do not need the online editor you can use the phone 
to edit it and you will not you will not have problem but because of certain things that i want to use in this particular video i need to use the online editor to have access to most of the function that is not on the offline editor desktop version so we click on the create new and click on system by nine aspect ratio then click on the plus button to upload all your clips to CapCut. so click on the upload button to upload the animation that you generated so we have one two three four five so we can click on the open button to upload the animations click on the upload button again and click on upload file we are going to add all the voiceovers that we generated using 11 labs select all the voiceover that we generated and click on the open button to add now add everything to our timeline before we continue let's talk about the bonus i have for you in this particular video you saw in this video that i have used a lot of prompt in this particular video to generate the images to come out with quality images if you want me to share the prompt with you go to the comment section below and type my legacy nation share the prompt with me i'm going to share a special link to this particular prompt with you so that you can open it copy the prompt modify it and use it as your own so let's continue so that's the bonus i have for you if you have also not subscribed to this channel click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more videos like these click on the like button to like this video if you really like this video so we have our animations ready we're going to add all the animations to the timeline so we start with the angle first then move your pointer to this side and then add a second image next is to remove all the watermark that we have on this particular video so we have the luma watermark and we also have the adobe firefly watermark what you can do is to crop the video use the dots at the size to drag the frame out to remove the watermark so this is what you do to remove the watermark apart from this you can also use the one two three app so you come to your browser and type one two three app to remove your choose the first option and choose the remove logo from video click on open file upload the animation that you want to remove the watermark from so you click on the open button and then click on this particular box and highlight the watermark we also come and highlight watermark from here when you are done click on the apply button click on the save button and click on the export button to export the animation to your drive so you can save it to remove the watermark this is what you do to remove the watermark from all your animation so if you don't want to if you don't want to do it the manual way you don't want to be dragging like this then you can use the one two three app to remove the watermark from your videos next is to add your voiceover so listen to all the voiceover and add it to your timeline make sure it matches the animation that you have on the timeline so we can go ahead and listen to this one first so we click on this so we go with this one then we can bring our pointer here then we can try listen to this one too so we can click the plus button to add so this is what you do so our audio is longer than the clips we have here so we can just try and then reduce that next is to add auto caption to your story so that your audience can follow or can get hooked to your video so we click on the auto caption option here and click on auto caption then click on generate to generate your auto captions for the story we can edit our auto caption or style it a bit so just tap on the auto caption up here on the screen like this double tap on it and choose any of the styles here we can go with this one then we can go with the template choose any of the templates i think i like this particular template you can close it next is to add transition to our clip to make sure it flows into the scene smoothly so we're going to click on transition from the left click on transition and choose any of the transitions that you want to use so we want to so we can go with this one and right click on the transition you added to your timeline like this and click on apply to all the clips so that the effect will be applied to all the clips that you have added to your timeline so you can go ahead and play it and do the necessary correction that you need to do after that if there's nothing else to do again you can click on the export button to export your video then click on the download button to download rename your video so we have something the story or something then click on the export button so this is what you do to create animated stories with the luma ai dream machine that are similar to your competitor's stories on youtube when you follow this you're going to blow on youtube in no time if you like this video click on the like button to like the video and also go to the comment section and share your thoughts with us on this video if you have any question or there's a video you want me to do go to the comment section and let me know that in the comment section and i'm going to take my time to make that video purposely for you watch the previous video i created on how to create animated stories using a different method on this channel and make sure you watch all the videos on this channel for better understanding so until then see you in the next video bye
No razor has ever been used on my head because I have been a Nazarite dedicated to God from my mother's womb. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me and I would become as weak as any other man.